so they should learn practical skill. They will learn how to cook healthy food. They will learn how to use tool to make something. People need these skills during their lives. Some learning life skills is much more fun in learning school than learning school subjects. If students have fun at school, they will learn more. Others say that students should learn school subjects. First, most school subjects help students understand the world. For example, history helps the student to understand the past of the country. Science helps them to understand how nature works. Second, school subjects are more difficult to learn. Students can learn practical skills easily, very easily. For example, children can learn how to wash clothes without trouble. So we don't have to teach these skills at school. Okay, very interesting topic. Now, based on that, what most students study many hours each day? Well, maybe like, in my opinion, maybe like, maybe each of the school can be different. Maybe they can go home early, maybe they can go home late. So, depending on the school works. Yes, absolutely, depending on the school. And why is it important to learn practical skills? Because we can learn each word that we don't understand. We can solve anything easily. We can know anything easily. We can, we can do anything easily, like, if, especially for math. Well, I know that people don't really use math in their life, but maybe, like, if we are really smart, we play basketball, we use math, then we got a really high score though. And we will be a star. Absolutely. That is a really good point there. And what will happen if students have fun at school? What do you think? What's your opinion? Well, if students have fun at school, then they will make, they will feel great. They don't have to feel any anxieties and uncomfortable, uncomfortable side too. So they have to learn about things. And if they have fun, they will be, they will learn more and they will know more about how to make things per perfectly in life. Yes, that is a good point. Yeah. And about like, learning so much fun in life. And tell me, why should students learn about history? It is because that some students can be, uh, can be, you know, really questioning about their past, con past about their country or about. So history, they will know more about their country and other country. And when the war was invented, war was at, and when there was in, when there was invented internet. Absolutely, and it will also um, help them to understand why there are changes implemented in the country. Okay, that was really good. And is it difficult to learn practical skills? What do you think? Well, no, because. It's very easy for me because once I heard it, it's already stuck in my head. So I already knew everything. Oh, so you already knew everything. That's amazing. And um, what practical skills have you learned lately? I know how to wash my clothes, how to scrub my flip flops, slippers, socks. And yeah, I know how to fold my clothes. I know how to do the laundry. I know how to sweep, sweep the floor and mop the floor. I know how to scat. I know how to catch spider. You know how to catch a spider? Yes. You know how to catch a spider? Aren't you afraid? Kinda. Are you not afraid to? Well, I'm not yeah. really afraid of small little insect if they were small then well it's very easy to to fit them in a box but if they were really big like 
like a fat rat then mm -hmm. got a heavy jibis you know i remember at class when i was coming yes. to class i saw that big fat spider in the corner we don't have to search for it only look at at once and we already knew where the spider is like it was that big like <gasps> how big that big what i will run away well it's not like a normal spider it's a whole freaking tarantula a tarantula that those spiders are very big yeah and i don't know how they get in the class because most tarantula live in australian so it's kind of rare yes. to see to saw them in vietnam Hmm. And then only in the rainforest. I know tarantulas like to live in the rainforest as well. So it's very odd that it was there. I wonder how it got there. And tell me, was all the kids t uh, terrified? Well, well, it's not li literally at a corner. It's literally at a corner next to the chair, next to my friend chair. And he didn't want to sit on his chair because of that big fat spider. And when we go outside, we talk to our friend about that big fat spider. And one of my friends says, don't worry, da. I only, I will step on it and it's already popped dead easy. And I said, okay, if you're really that confident, then do it yourself then. Then yeah. be a brave hero of himself. Going to the class and saw the big fat spider. He was like, adios. I never saw the spider. Ah, again. Adios, amigos. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Oh, Tilly, you make me laugh. Ah, uh, adios, amigos. <laughs> like, he, he, was, he, he didn't think. Why is he being? Why is he being so? Uh uh. He mustn't be like that. You know, he was being braver than he thought. But, and yo, when he's. And I saw him go outside the class, like limping, like literally, no injury at all, just limping. And he really what he he looked like he didn't, injure, he didn't injure himself. No, he didn't injure himself because, but the spider run toward him and then just go onto his leg and he scream like Elsa in a movie and then just shook the spider out and ran outside and. Well, not really ran, just walk outside, like nothing happened. I was like, and I was like, I talking to him and was like, hey, did you kill the spider yet? And I said, how do you think I'm going to kill the spider? That's so fast. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, oh, Jenny, you made my day. Okay, so let's quickly go on to our vocabulary part. So we've got easily perfect practical score and tools. So tell me, Jenny, um, any of these words that you would like me to elaborate on for you? No. Ah, I think you can do this. Can you start with number one? Yes, if you learn easily skill, no, if you can learn practical skill, you can use them in real life. Oh, well done, number two. Hammer, saws, and showers are the examples of tools. Absolutely. Number three. I'm sure we'll win the game quite easily. Absolutely. We're going to win it easily. And with you on my team, definitely. Number four. Study harder if, study harder if you want to get a perfect score. Absolutely. And then the last one, number five. As Linda, Linda wants to score three goals in the game. Yes, well done, Jenny. That was excellent. Okay, moving on to our opinions once again. But before we're going to do opinions, I want to share something with you quickly. Okay, so before we're going to talk about um, skills, um, let me just quickly go there. I've got this one saved for you. Mm 
Hi everyone, this is Amy with Mr. B, and today we are learning more from striking skills. For today's skills, we will be needing a circle. If you like to know how to make one, you can click on this link up here. To strike it long longer, there are two things that are really important. The first thing is to always look at the plot. It's very hard to hit the ball when you're not looking at it. So we look at the ball before we get it, and when we actually learn the ball, many people look at the ball because they are turn around and then they start looking to where they want to hit the ball, and then they might miss it or any other of their pain or their thought. So always look at the ball a little bit very long before we get out of the impact. Second thing on which point we're going to be the ball. I refer to the role with more than that, with more than that. Some people might refer to the name. It's going to be something more strength, or even a little more functional. It's just your way of hands up. Do the sign, but right now, as we're in a small environment, I prefer to have more control than to have more strength. Those are the two things that are really important. Let's get to it. Number one, if you don't want to from the city position, remember to always look at balls, if you don't need it, and then catch it. The ball is obviously not run if you can get a stop ball, which makes it more challenging to catch it. Try it. Do you think you can do that, Jenny? Uh, do that? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't really need to do that. You? No. So, do you know how to make a soft ball? No. You take a piece of paper, okay? You crumble it, okay. and you make it into a little ball, like a little ball, okay? And you press it, so there's your ball, okay? And then when you do this, so this is a skill I'm teaching you, okay? okay. And then you, you hit your arm here, and you catch it, okay? Ah. So I want yeah, so what well, after we are done today, are you you I want you to make you your own soft skill ball and then you are going to practice. Okay. So I'm gonna show you one more other skill. Okay. Right, so the paper boss you make is kind of look like wrinkled, but when he made the paper boss, it's not yes. so smooth. It's like, is that a cotton ball? It's made out of, he uses socks. So you take your socks and you fold it up and you can use it. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to show you one. <laughs> Oh, there's the other one. Let me just get your other one. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to show you pra practical life skills. So these are practical life skills. Matching socks. For today's work, you will need a big pile of clean socks, and we're going to match the socks together. Now, friends, depending on your household, your grown-up may match the socks together by taking the pair, remember, pair means two socks, and folding them over like this. Or maybe your grown-up takes the pair of socks and rolls them on top of each other into a ball like this. That's what we do at my house. Okay, so you see how she made that ball? I okay. see. Do you know how to make a ball like that, Jenny? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Let's watch the next one. So let me show you the work for the day. Let's see. I have all of these socks, and I need to match them together first. So I'm going to start off with this sock. This sock has 
blue on the top and the bottom, and it has green and yellow stripes. So first, I need to look through the pile and see if I can find its match. Hmm, does the sock match the sock? I don't think so. It does have stripes, but these stripes are a different color. And look, there's a little helicopter at the top. So this is not a match. Hmm, but what about this sock? Is this a pair? I don't think so. Let's try again. How about this? Are these socks the same? Okay, I'm going to fold it a little bit because now you know how to do this one, okay? And now let's have a look at the next one. Washing the dishes. For today's work, you will need two basins or two large bowls, one with warm soapy water and the other with clean water. You will also need some dishes, some utensils, a sponge, and a small towel. Now, after you eat a meal, your dishes are dirty and need to be washed. So let's take our dishes and put them in the warm, soapy water. We'll also put the utensils in. Now, in order to scrub all the food off the dishes and utensils, you need a sponge. So sometimes I like to, like to let the dishes soak for a little bit just to loosen up all of the food. Now I take my sponge, I dip it into the water, get it all nice and wet and soapy, and I start to scrub. I scrub around the rim of the cup and inside. She scrubs so softly. I, I know. Have you ever washed dishes before, Tenny? Many times. Yeah, because I'm nine years old and I'm bigger. Oh, of course. Well done. Okay, let's move on to the next activity, guys. And now we know how to wash dishes. Now the next one, window washing. Do you know how to do window washing? Yes. Splash some water on the glasses, then scrub it with a towel, and splash it again with soap. Wow, you are immaculate. Let's have a look. For today's work, you'll need a spray bottle. Inside of the spray bottle, I have three quarters full of water and a little bit of white vinegar. I also added a couple of drops of essential oil, which is optional. It's just to mask the scent of the white vinegar, which is a little bit strong sometimes. You'll also need a small cloth or a hand towel and a squeegee, which is also optional. Squeegee. And the last thing that you'll need what a is way. a big window like this. So like I said before, what is it? A squeegee. Do you know what a squeegee is? Well, that's a very weird a name. A squeegee is um, it's the window cleaner. I it is a weird name, squeegee. Hmm. Okay. Even because it's got probably it's because it's got a sponge, so when you can squeeze the water. Yeah, that's quite quite yes. creative. But even the mouse can have a better name than that. I know. Even a sponge has a better name. Well done. Okay, let's do, let's quickly watch how she demonstrates. When my windows are full of sticky handprints, it makes the window a little bit blurry and hard to see. So no, then I know that it's hiding from the window. So the first thing to do is remove any items that may be on the windowsill. This is the windowsill right here. So I'm okay, so we know how to do that. Okay, now moving on to the next one. I'm going to show you this one as well. Ah, cleaning up. I know you know how to do clean up, but let's just see how does she demonstrate how to clean up. Mm. Let's make cleaning up a game. Do you see this big mess of blocks that I have? Well, instead of using my hands to clean them up, I'm going to use these tongs to clean them up. Now, when I squeeze them together, I'm going to lift up the block and drop it into the basket. For today's work, you will also need a timer or a stopwatch to see how long it takes you to clean up the mess. So let me get my timer and stopwatch. And when I'm ready, I'm going to press start on my mark. Get set. Go. I have my tongs. I'm going to squeeze and lift the blocks into the basket. Squeeze and lift. Sometimes you may have to use 
two hands if the block is very heavy. So I'm squeezing and lifting. Three more left. Two. And last one. Let me get my timer and press stop. Do you see that, friends? It took me 33 seconds to clean up the mess. I will. Okay, so next time, are you going to do play a game with a cleaning up, um, Jenny? Well, sure, but this sounds pretty familiar because, well, when I was five, my mom told me to clean up the mess that I made. I was, I was like, no, I was play, playing, and then she was kind of like, says, Jenny, I'm going to clap this one to ten. One, two, I was like, oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> I screw dip dip. <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> that is a very quick way to do it. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Okay, so those are life skills. Now, let's have a look at our supporting and refuting opinions. So once again, practicing being so number one to number four, we are gonna do the supporting points first, and you're gonna match it with A, B, C, or D. So can you do number one for us there, Jenny? Um, we need to know times table because they are helpful, helpful and interesting. Guys, okay, so let's just see. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Let me just quickly clean up. Yes, the next one, number two. As student needs to learn different subjects. Is See, because most smart people know a lot of information. Uh, sorry, Jenny, what was the first answer you said number one was? Well, I changed my mind because... Okay. Well, just I want to pass number one because I find no yes. match. Okay, number two? Is because... Smart people know a lot of information, see? Okay, perfect. Number three. Is learning practical skills for because they are helpful and interesting. Hmm, number four. Students need to learn many useful skills is because companies that want workers to have a lot of skills. Okay, and now which one? Number one is? Me. Because we need yes. to do math every day. Yes, well done. Okay, that was really good. Now, moving over to our refuting opinions. Once again, you're going to match the number one uh, to four with A, B, C, and D. Can you start with number one? It's learning about other countries so waste of time is the I don't think so. If you learn about something that will help us understand our work better. <coughs> Student need to learn practical skills to have a better life. Is um, they I disagree. If people are good at school subject, they will have better life. Okay, number three. Student need to know how to fix things. Is I don't think so. We can help from our people who can fix things. Absolutely, and then the last one, number four, is. It is not a good idea to learn about something that we will never use. Is I disagree. If you learn about different country, we can understand our country better. Well done, Teddy. That was excellent. Oh, you are too smart. And then let's move over to our next one. And once again, our opinion examples. Can you read for us our supporting opinion? A school needs to teach students practical skills. Learning practical skills is much more fun and learning about useless facts. Students can students can learn about how to use tools. They can also learn how to cook. These are skills they will always need. Always need. Second, many companies want worker who can solve real problems. Most students know about the past of their country, but not many of them know how to fix a computer. Companies really need people who have practical skills. Ah, that was really good. Now, can you read for us our opposing opinion? 
and still need to learn many different subjects. In schools such as math and science, first, this world, the world needs changing very fast. Students need to learn as much knowledge as possible. Only then can it be successful. Second, learning school subject can be fun. For example, many students say that they enjoy learning art skill. Some say that they enjoy doing scientific experience, experiment. Enjoy learning the most important things in our lives. Okay, now, can you identify the two main ideas in our supporting and um, opposing opinion? Is school need to teach students practical skills? Ah, okay, and then opposing? Opposing is they can also learn how to cook. Oh, need to learn many different subjects. Subjects, yes. Yeah. So this one is saying school needs to teach students practical skills, but this one is saying that students need to learn many different subjects. Now, for our supporting opinion, so schools need to teach students practical skills. Can you give us the supporting ideas for this statement? As they can also learn how to cook. These are skills they will only need. And companies want workers who, who can solve real problems. Yes. And companies really need people who have practical skills. Ah, well done. That was excellent. Now, for the opposing opinion we've got, uh, students need to learn many different subjects. Can you um, give us the supporting ideas for the opinion. Is first the world is changing really fast. Students need to learn as much knowledge as possible. Mm. Only they can be yes, successful. Much knowledge. Second, learning school subject can be fun for example. They can be yes, successful. Successful, yes. They, and learning school mm. subject can be fun. And many students say that they enjoy art skill. Art skills, yes. And some say that they enjoy doing scientific experience. Experiment. Enjoy, yes, doing scientific experiments. And learning. There you go. Oh. Enjoying learning is me. That's perfect. Now, tell me, Chikini, I want to know, do you agree with the supporting opinion or the opposing opinion? Um, opposing opinion. And why the opposing opinion? Because that it is true that the world is changing really fast and, well, maybe new things will come up in the new year and we didn't expect that much so we had to learn as much knowledge as possible because only then if we have it we have to know how to use them and have to know the fact that what they are really are oh wow i i couldn't agree with you more that was really good okay so cheney your homework what you are going to do is you are going to Choose one of these in your own time and exactly what you have done this morning and send me the video. You are going to record and give me your statement. Your opposing and your um your opposing opinion and your supporting opinion. Any one of these for number one or three, okay? Your um, supporting and opposing opinion. Are you ready to do it? I'm ready. Okay, you're gonna do that. You're going to do that for homework. So tell me, Jenny, did you have fun today? Yes. Um, to, so, Jenny, I will see you next time. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye, Jenny. Bye-bye. Have a great day.